Hi, I'm G, this is my art channel, and this is my watercolour pencil drawing of a crab claw. Now, as a watercolour painter, I'm not a massive user of watercolour pencils, but as you can see, I've got some. I've got some sketches to finish, so I thought I'd break them out for this crab claw. So I chose three colours for this. I just chose a brown ochre, a nice light ochre, a dark red crimson lake, and then a sort of like blue-grey colour for mid-tones. And you can see that I hardly use them, because some of them look like they've just been sharpened by the robots in the factory. But anyway, I decide to do the crab claw drawing with them. And as you can see, I start with my lightest color first of all. So I'm using the brown ochre, putting down some light washes, adding a little bit of the blue gray, a little bit of the crimson lake. And then I'm adding water using a, a water brush, which is one of those um, kind of plastic ones where you have water in a barrel. You can squeeze it out a little bit as you go along because I'm hoping that I don't use too much water because I think one of my problems when I'm using watercolor pencils is sometimes I use a bit too much water uh, and that can make everything flutter around and go all greasy. So I'm doing it section by section and I'm using the same three colors. I'm just using the ochre, then some crimson red and trying to add a sort of bluey kind of dark kind of shade using the blue green. So you can see I start kind of carefully, very tentatively, because of course, haven't used the watercolor pencils in so long, I'm a bit like, oh, I've forgotten how these work, I've forgotten how these handle. So I'm going about it quite lightly. Uh, another reason that I put on a little bit of color and not tons and tons of color is I've always found with watercolor pencils that the more color you put on, it's kind of counterproductive, or at least for me. I find that all of those colors kind of like end up blending together and they get this really funny, greasy kind of quality to them, which I've never really liked. So, you know, that's why I'm just putting on, you know, a sparing amount of color, knowing full well that when I get the water on there with a water brush and add it all in, you know, I start to get these lovely kind of shades of color anyway. So as I finish that first pass of colors, you might have noticed that the lighting on this video is slightly different. And that's because we actually got a couple of days of sunlight in February. So I was able to actually shoot this video using natural lighting instead of the usual daylight bulbs that I use which is okay as long as I make sure that uh, the work is shaded, which I didn't do for this clip, and that's why you can see the sunlight gently encroaching in from the right-hand side. But as you can see, what I've tried to do is go back into the picture once I had those first sort of sets of colors, and I'm adding um, color on top and then working it with the water brush again to try and get some you know darker areas on the pincer, some darker areas in the red on the claw, and also a little bit more of the yellow ochre to give it that kind of warm kind of look. Now in the picture, in my reference photo, it's lying on a, a load of wet rocks. Uh, and they've got this lovely kind of green kind of seaweed quality color to them. Uh, so I use three shades of green here, a really, really light bright green, then sort of a couple of kind of muddy kind of uh, camouflagey kind of greens. And I just layer those up like you can see. So I go from light first, then medium, then dark, very patchy, very loose. And then I just get the water brush on top of those and blend those colors together, you know, hoping to have a kind of a darkish edge so that the, uh, the crab pins or the crab claw will really pop up and, you know, really jump off the page at you. So there's the finished sketch. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed doing it. So let me know what you think in the comments below and whether you want to see some more watercolor pencil sketches. And I've got to give a shout out to the Mind of Watercolor YouTube channel because it was his series on watercolor pencils that really inspired me to get mine out and have a go with mine. And don't forget you can follow me on all the different social media platforms out there. And if you would like to see some of my previous videos, then you can click on some on this page or in the description down below. Thanks for watching.